I'm Josh. I'm Jamie. And I'm Tommy. Social class refers to categories of people who, who share an economic position in society based on their income, wealth, education, occupation, and social connections. So, do you guys think that social class is related to sport participation and attendance of sporting events across all categories of people? Uh, yes, I think social class does affect sport participation. When you, inf when you examine sport participation in sports that are more expensive to participate in, you start to see less diversity in social class within the participants because only <coughs> upper middle and upper class families can afford to send their kids, or can afford for their kids to participate in these sports. I disagree due to the fact that just because a child can't afford to participate in a sport doesn't mean they should get off easy when it comes to the payment of the organization. Every child should have to pay the same for that specific team. I'm here at Mercyhurst University collecting money for the MSA travel soccer. Do you have your money? Oh, no, I don't. Um, my family's going through some money troubles right now. Um, I'll try to get it to you as soon as I can, though. Okay, Max. Don't worry, coach, I got my money. There Thank you, you. Man, that sucks for you. Better luck next year. You might want to get a job or something, you know, then you can pay for it. I'm here at Mercyhurst University collecting money for the MSA travel soccer. Do you have your money? Oh, uh, no, um, my family's going through some money trouble right now. Um, I'll get it to you as soon as I can, though. Well, no, I'm sorry, you cannot participate on the team. What? Here's your money, Coach. Thank you. Well, our first practice is next Monday at 7 o'clock. All right, sounds good. I'll see you there. All right, sounds good. I was the coach in the last situation, and I made sure that the players without their money were not allowed to participate, and the ones with money were allowed to participate. I represented the kids who can't afford to play, and I think it's unfair to deny players who can't afford to pay up front if they can potentially get the money to like the team or coach at a later date. I represented the kids who were able to pay on the due date, and I think that it should be this way because it's easy for kids to tell their coach that they'll be able to pay in the future. And then after participating in whatever sport they want to participate in, they can just not pay them and not really care about it because they already participated. I'm here at Mercyhurst University collecting money for the MSA travel soccer. Do you have your money? No, I don't. My family's going through some money troubles right now. I can try to get to you as soon as possible, though. No, I'm sorry. You can't participate on the team. Next. Hey, Coach. Hey. Here's the money. Thank you. Hey, Coach, did I just hear you tell Bobby that you can't play? Yeah, he doesn't have his money. Man, there's nothing we could do to help him get the money? Like maybe a fundraiser or something? Hmm. I mean, I guess we could let him slide and only pay half of the cost for the team. I'm fine with that. I mean, he's a very valuable player to our team, plus... The rest of the guys seem to like him a lot, so I feel like it'd be better if he was on the team than off the team, you know what I mean? Okay, I guess he can be on the team. All right, cool. I'm here at Mercyhurst University collecting money for MSA Travel Soccer. Hey, Coach. Hey. There's no money to be on the team. Okay, thank you. Um, Our first practice is next Monday at 7. All right, sounds good. I'll All right. see you then. Thanks. Sounds good. Next. Do you have your money? Uh, no, my family's kind of going through some money troubles right now. All right, well, that's okay. We can for sure work something out, like maybe doing a team fundraiser, and then you can use half of it to pay your way onto the team. No one will find out about it. Okay, that sounds awesome. Thank you, Coach. All right, first practice is Monday at 7. All right, thank you. Yep. Today I demonstrated what coaches have to deal with each year when it comes to sport organizations and players that are a part of different social classes, and not everyone can afford the same things. We do agree that social class and uh, sport participation and attendance are related due to the fact that some players can't afford what others can. But we also see that like some players get discounted prices or um, they like cut some slack because even though they can't afford it, they're like 
a very vital part of the team. So the team still wants him there. Um, in conclusion, I believe that sports teams and organizations should help kids out who come from less fortunate families as much as they can. Um, when kids cannot afford to be a part of teams, they should not ad automatically but be denied participation. Um, by denying kids participation to play a particular sport, it can ruin the sport for them entirely and then they might never want to play that sport again. Thanks for watching.